All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching Doctor Stone season three, episode six. In the last episode, we managed to finally finish build uh, Perseus. We have our crew, which is basically all main characters, which is awesome. And then we have our destination, which is this treasure island where the astronauts who came back to Earth landed on and settled on. Very excited to see what we're gonna find here. There was like um, like the the ship or whatever it was that they came back in uh, that was like in a tree that had kind of grown around it from what I can tell that was pretty cool um, but yeah very excited for this journey now we're into the One Piece uh, timeline of Dr. Stone it would seem so as always if you're new to the channel please hit that subscribe button and like the video as well and let's go into this episode right now all these random islands of stone statues on them let's go thank you They're going to create their own. Unlimited supply of revival fluid, really. In a treasure box, really? How do you know this? Oh, we, know, we don't know what the item actually is. It's worth its weight in gold, okay. Oh, this is in the past. Oh shit, that's cool. So they've left a box like that full of helpful items. Oh, look at old Byakuya. That's so cool how they prepared this for them. Oh, that's how he knows about the treasure box. It's in, uh, it's one of Ruri's stories. Prepared for war. Oh yeah, it went on all night. Crazy. What is he going to pull up on now? <laughs> this is too much info even for him. Number eight! Wow. The fact that she memorized all this. That's fucking crazy. Bitch, write all this down. Oh, Chrome. That's cool. Yeah, they are, actually. But only Chrome really took an interest in it, though. She's like, no, she's heard of these things. She barely she doesn't know what a lot of them are, though. That's cool. Platinum? Yeah, true. One piece. Oh, you use platinum to make this. Damn. I, nah, I assume it's really hard to come by. Dumbar's number. Oh, okay. That's interesting. So they didn't want to revive too many people. 58. I don't know. Oh, yeah. I forgot with Sukasa's Empire as well. True. Too many people. Hard to, ma hard to handle. Yeah, even if we can revive all of humanity, we got to do it in, like, sections. Hakin or Shirogane. I didn't know that. The big metal spacecraft thing. Yeah, buddy. The Soyuz spaceship. Very cool. Well, not that they know this, but uh, from what we've seen, it's, like, lodged in a tree. Who's this person? Damn. This boy ripped. He got Luffy's scar on his head. 
<laughs> just some random dumb. Oh, he doesn't have a name? Okay. Oh. Yeah, there's another stabilization. And nobody named you? Oh. Ah, you couldn't just name them after an or because maybe they didn't know any other ors. Soyuz? Oh. oh, shit! He's from the island! There is a whole ass civilization waiting for us at this island. Oh, shit. Is it? Is that a good thing? <laughs> I don't know. I wonder if he's one of many kids named after um, Soyuz as well. Look at that Chrome's face. What are you doing? I don't know, but I hope they're good people. Ah, so they just moved away from the village, I guess. So what, some people stayed in the island, some people left for Ishigami village, I guess. Interesting. <laughs> yes, they were. Yeah, because you'd be writing off human existence. Yeah, me too. We can just kill him? Jesus Christ, Magma. Ooh. That's a good question. Why did I forget the previous chief came with us? True. Yeah. It's unlikely that they're, ad they're as advanced as all we are. I think because he has been raised in Ishigami Village, he's definitely going to fit in more with them. Oh, he wants to know where he came from. Exactly. Good explanation. I'm really wondering if he was like an important person because he's named after Soyuz, or whether there's just a shitload of kids named after Soyuz. A few hours? <laughs> Ooh, this ship. <laughs> what have you led yourself into? Are we going to get a ship tour? I don't blame, blame Kaseki. This is the best thing he's built. He's like sitting there, nodding and smiling. It's going to be complicated as shit. Oh, this is where these two are kept. That's funny. Oh, we've got animals. Trees. Very cool. Oh, GPS and radar. That's cool. Wow. It is advanced as hell. Look at it. That's so cool. That'd make a good desktop background as well. Oh, loads of people that haven't been seasick before. Oh, they're going to make something for seasickness? Scopa Lamine. The dull the autonomic nerve should be the trick. Okay. Don't know what that is. It looks poisonous. It looks like one of those poisonous plants. That was quick. Wow. A, a storm is about to pull up on you just for those words. Yep, here it fucking comes. 
Good job, Ginro. <laughs> oh, look at this rocket T. <laughs> I love him. He's so funny. You gotta love him. You gotta love his confidence. What's wrong with Senku? Oh, what? Ah, okay. We made it. Can we see it? Oh, did someone... Oh, yeah, I guess someone um, sailed with him when he was a baby. I wonder what happened to that, presumably, his mom. I believe we're already here. For some reason, I was expecting more than one episode. Right, so that was Dr. Stone Season 3, Episode 6. Very good episode. It was interesting meeting this new character, Soyuz. So Soyuz? Soyuz. Uh, named after the space shuttle. Very, very cool. Uh, we got some very helpful info from him. The fact that this island has people on it. Hopefully they're friendly, uh, but we will see after all this time. I mean, it's been 3,000 years since the astronauts started at home there. So, yeah, we will see how the generations have moved on. If they are quite the same as the people in the Ishigami village, uh, we'll, we will see. Excited for this though, and going after platinum, like, I'm no scientist, I wouldn't have guessed that that shit would be used for fucking revival fluid, but yeah, apparently once we get some platinum, unlimited revival fluid, I don't know how much we need, but uh, yeah, fuck it. Overall, a very good episode, definitely looking forward to the next. Anyway guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching, have an interesting day, and peace out.